Merry Christmas YouTube. This is going to be an unboxing of the Armor Creighton 6S on the left and the Low C Super Rock Ray on the right. Um, I guess you can call the Armor Creighton a speed monster truck. That's what it says on the box. Goes up to 6S, 60 miles an hour out of the box, ready to run. Super Rock Ray, um, Rock Buggy. I guess you would call it one six scale. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, Losi Super Rock Red. Box is huge, as you can see. It weighs about, I don't know, 25, 26 pounds. Uh, let's just get right into it. I've already undone some of the Plastic holding it down. Oh, excuse me, holding the box together. This thing is absolutely massive. Okay, continuing with the unboxing. The vehicle is wrapped very nicely, as you can see, with plastic wrap. This is just crazy. Look at this thing. We got LEDs on the front bumper, guess you could call it. We got LED bar on the top, above where the windshield is. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the level of detail on this truck is just insane. Like, in here, there is a navigator, like rally car drivers, and he's got codes for his course like he's calling out to the driver they've got helmets and seat belts and it's the speed controls in the middle if you can't see it in there um the shocks are massive adjustable shocks they have like uh they're not functional but shock reservoirs like a real Baja racer would. These wheels are absolutely huge. Big bore shocks. Um, adjustable turnbuckles. Let's see what else we got. Let's see if I get a better shot up. There you can see in there the, the window net is like rubber. It feels like a real net. Um, there's the, the chart I was telling you about in there. Um, we've got fire extinguishers, more fake reservoirs for the rear shocks. These are not functional, but they are a very, very nice detail. A fifth wheel, which is removable and functional. You can replace this wheel. You can replace one of the wheels on the vehicle with this wheel, which is very cool. I don't think I've ever seen that on another vehicle. Let's get this off. Wing nut. This is one of the wheels compared to my hand. Like, it's bigger than my hand. These are not real bead locks, but they do look nice. The nice black wheel. It doesn't look like these tires are gonna balloon at speed, so that's a good thing. On the side of the vehicle, we have uh, Baja Designs branding. This is the gray one. It also comes in white. I got the gray because I like the black wheels. 
Canon, Losi, Fox, which are all, you know, real reputable brands. Maxis also. Um, you can see a little more detail with the men or drivers in here. They might be women for all you ladies that might be watching. Looking at the underbody, we have a battery door here. It's a little plunger that spring loaded. You pull it out to get the rear plate out. It's foam, foam padded on the other side. There is a foam spacer in here. If you just want to run one battery, I guess. You might need another one depending on the size of the battery. Deep battery well. Batteries are loaded underside, obviously. There is a hole. I don't know if you can see my finger coming out. There it goes. That's where you run your battery leads to. They plug in here at the bottom. It's out of the way of anything that moves. So it should not be a problem. This drive shaft is massive. It says, Warning hot on it. I don't know if it actually gets hot. You will have to see. But it is just a massive drive shaft. Let's put the space in. Three screws will drop the motor. There is a motor mount with holes in it, with marking reference holes that go from I think a 12 tooth pinion I'm not sure what the stock pinion is in the gear in his in this vehicle is but it goes from whatever the stock gearing is up to 24 tooth pinion you don't have to bother with gear mesh and putting a piece of paper to mesh your gears right you just line up the holes and drop the motor back in and it automatically meshes itself which is amazing okay one last thing I want to show you on the vehicle before we get to what was what else was in the box is when you turn these wheels they generate enough power to light the leds which is very cool i'll show you the back one if i can make sure that's in frame yeah the back one lights up red on the outside and clear in the middle which is very cool Okay, other things included in the box are, of course, a radio. This is a Spectrum radio, DX2E. Um, it doesn't have a padded wheel. It is a ready-to-run radio. Um, it's got your uh, steering trim, throttle trim, power on-off. I don't have batteries in it at the moment, but it did come with four double A's. Um, your bind button. This is your AVC, which is like a TRX for Traxxas vehicles, like stability control. Um, yeah, it's got that. Um, on top, it's got um, this is a steering and throttle reverse. And these are, this is a three position switch. I think it's for both of these are three position switches. I'm not sure what they're for, but I'll get back to it. Yeah, so as I was saying, these uh, this this switch up here is for, it's just a third channel three position switch. It's uh, 100, neutral, 100. Um, there's nothing on the third channel, but there is, I mean, I guess you can put whatever you want on the third channel. Um, this switch is a throttle limiter. It's 50, 75, 100. So if you got someone who doesn't know what they're doing with this type of vehicle, they don't have it on 100 and run it into a tree. Very nice. Okay, so the last few things we have in the box is this bag. We've got the instruction manual, of course. We have a Guess a little advertisement uh, for the remote. There's some add-on pieces you can get, a dashboard if you use a, some, a smartphone, a uh, digital speedometer. Um, yeah, it's like a Bluetooth module that snaps onto here. 
and you know gives you more functionality that's pretty cool we got a wheel wrench 10 mil 17 mil 8 and 7 millimeter got a turnbuckle wrench basic stuff bind plug these seem to be uh, alignment, some kind of alignment tools. Double A batteries for your remote, very nice. Uh, bullet connectors. And a sticker sheet, I'm not gonna take that out of the bag. Okay, uh, that's it for the LoC Super Rock Ray. I'm gonna get some stock running footage very soon hopefully and uh, once my batteries come in I plan on running this thing on I plan on running this thing on ADAS predominantly um, yeah I got some batteries coming they didn't come in time for the unboxing unfortunately but uh, they should be here in a couple of days I guess um, yeah, it's a nice truck. I'm excited about it. It's awesome. I haven't seen one in person and I hear nothing but good things about these. So, you know, it's cool to have a unique truck. You can't, you know, just go and grab what everybody else has, even though I kind of did, but we'll save that for the second part of the video. Okay, next up, we got the Armor Creighton Success. Um, I was on the fence between this and the Super Rock Ray. But I said, you know, I saw a lot of good things about the Creighton and I don't know, I couldn't decide on both of them. So I got, it. I couldn't decide on either one. So I got both of them. Yeah, I know, I'm spoiled, but I work hard. Get to this in a minute. Minute. All right, here we go. Blue armor crate. Six S. Okay, so I know there's a million videos on unboxing of the Armor Crate and Success. I'm just doing it because I did the Rock Ray or the Super Rock Ray. So why not? I gotta give my channel some love. It's been neglected. But I hope to change that in the now and in the coming year. So uh, yeah. The body for this truck actually looks amazing. In on the pictures, it doesn't look too great, but in person, the paint is pretty, it's pretty nice. I was impressed with it. I love the don't just bash, don't just bash blast. It's awesome. Creighton success. We got big boy adjustable shocks, of course. Um, Turnbuckles adjustable, upper and lower control arms, uh, chassis brace, which they added for this year. Um, I'm gonna be running this on predominantly 6S, but sometimes I will run it on 4S. This is a jumper for, you know, if you wanna run one pack, just leave that in there. Um, I think it's a hundred and, 50 amp ESC, it's the stock ESC, BLX, 2050 KB motor. Um, just, just a very clean truck. This is gonna be the jumper slash speed demon of the two that I have. Um, yeah, I plan on doing a lot of jumping with this. Future, I might have to upgrade. Okay, I said I might, I lied. I'm definitely going to upgrade 
to the uh, I'll put it this way to the uh, maybe a hobby wing system I'm thinking hobby wing max 5 and the um, 1650 kV motor I've seen good things with it and it's not too expensive so I might go that route with this vehicle um, I'm not trying to go faster than 80 miles an hour I'm sure I could get there if I gear up with that um, upgraded with those upgraded electronics uh, I'm not sure about the steering servo um, we're just gonna run it stock and see how it is I'm sure everything is just fine but you know we always want things bigger faster and better so that's it Okay, so for the rest of the Creighton, we've got a RTR Spectrum SX2E. Now, I've heard a lot of bad things, unfortunately, about this transmitter. Um, it's not the best. It looks cheap, it feels cheap. Um, I've heard the tactic with the previous um, versions of the Creighton were much better. It's got your basic controls, throttle, reverse, steering, reverse, throttle, steering, trim, throttle rate, uh, and steering, dual rate. It does have a throttle limiter of 50, 75, and 100%, which is not a nice, uh, not a bad touch at all. Um, this remote operates on the FHSS um, protocol. I don't plan on using this remote with this vehicle. I plan on using my uh, DX4C, which is not compatible with the receiver in here because like I said, the DX4, uh, my DX4 uses um, a DSMR protocol. This is FHSS protocol, so they are not compatible, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to buy another receiver. We've got then here, uh, the optional pinion gear. This is a. Mm, doesn't tell you how many teeth it is. Let me see if I can. I don't know. It doesn't matter how many teeth. It's an optional pinion. You go faster if you put this in. But you might overheat. Uh, bag of tools. Hex wrenches, tire wrenches. Um, these are body mounts they look like. Extra body mounts and stuff. Sticker sheet. Um, performance, uh, tells you what size batteries you might need and um, the gearing. Vine plug and the um, instruction books. These armor instruction books are massive, but they cover one, two, three, four, five different vehicles from the Creighton to the Notorious. They are pretty, they're all very similar, especially the electronics on 6S. But yeah, that's it for the unboxing. Um, like I said, I hope to get some running footage up soon. I don't have batteries yet. They should be here within the week. Um, I did see a nice LED light kit that I'm gonna get for this truck. But, um, the kit has uh, headlights. Uh, I think you can add a light bar down here on the bumper. And in the back, it has another red LED bar as well. And you can control it. Um, you can strobe it in different things and it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna add that to it. I'm gonna do another body. I'm thinking about uh, black, stuff black with some carbon fiber trim. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Suggestions on what color I should get. The body is really nice. I really like the body style. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get another stock body and just paint it. I'm not gonna get like a pro line or anything like that. Even though I saw the Proline um, Dodge Ram bodies for the Creighton and the EVO 2.0, and they looked really nice. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, this is just the beginning for this vehicle, and she's gonna have a 
hell of a journey and a lot of jumping, a lot of bashing, some racing. That person knows who I'm talking about. Look out, I'm coming after you. 2020. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the unboxing and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll get you some running videos as soon as I can. Thanks, peace, happy new year. One last thing, um, here's a quick size comparison between both vehicles. They are, both of them are huge, but this Rock Ray is, uh, this Rock Ray rivals the size of an X-Max. It doesn't sit as high and it's probably not as wide, but it's beefy just like an X-Max. Um, yeah, it's about four inches longer than the Creighton and probably just as wide. Maybe the Creighton is about an inch wider with the wheels. The wheels are wider on the Creighton for sure. But uh, yeah, these vehicles are pretty BA. <laughs>